Hello everybody, welcome back to the Analog Wonderland channel. My name is Paul Mackay and I am here today to talk to you about a Halloween film, Mummy. Whether you are new to film photography or a long-time analog enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews to how-to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting! Mummy is the fourth Halloween film that we have featured from FPP, following on from Dracula, the original, and then Frankenstein and Wolfman. Um, so it's turned into a bit of an annual tradition, one that I absolutely love. There's lots of obvious puns here about Halloween films that work better here than in America where they talk about movies, but I will stay away from all of them. This started as one of FPP's pet projects, fun projects, things they do. But before I go too far into that in the film, I do want to quickly summarise who FPP are. For those of you who have watched many of these videos before, you might already know, they are based over in America, and it stands for Film Photography Project. And what I'll do actually is I'll read out, if you'll bear with me, what they say about themselves on the website. Since 2009, it has been our mission to inspire, engage and inform beginners and professional film photographers around the globe. Our film photography podcast, YouTube channel and blogs share dependable product reviews, tutorials and tips that deconstruct the complex without dumbing down the content, providing tools that expand skills while supporting your creative output, experiences and passion for film photography. Now hopefully you won't be surprised to learn that uh, at Analog Wonderland we cannot agree more <laughs> with that um, sort of founding philosophy and belief. Now of course starting in 2009 puts them right in the middle of the digital revolution and film's low point. So it's a, a group of friends, uh, what's the right word, headlined by Michael Rasso. Um, if you listen to the podcast, I highly recommend you do. They were doing podcasts before podcasts were cool and with an incredible level of, um, of production skills as well based on their professional backgrounds. But they really believe in making film photography um, really fun and this is one of the things that they do and they also really believe in the education, the inspiration and, and providing you with content as well as just selling you things. So we've, we, we, we've always had, uh, ever since we launched in sort of nine years after that, we've always talked, uh, myself and um, Mike, um, about the, the philosophy that we have, the similarities and the differences across the pond between America and UK film shooters and there's obviously a lot of a lot of similarities. Now what they have in their facilities, they have an online store that ships all over North America, um, but they also do some really cool things. One of which is hand rolling films and we stock a lot of their hand rolled films. We have, they tend to be quite crazy emulsions, low ISO and by low ISO I mean under one. Um, up to the crazy fast speeds of three, I think one of them is. There are also no more normal speeds as well, 200, 400, but um, it's the ones below 10 that really catch your eye. Um, sort of blue sensitive, black and white, or blue ultra, which we'll talk about I think next week. They find really interesting and different emulsions and then they, by hand, cut them down into canister size. They also do their own movie film, uh, in 16 mil, uh, I think in some 8 mil as well, and they can develop it in their own in-house lab. So they really are an analog bastion uh, in New Jersey where they do a load of really cool things. So UK shooters, please do follow along their YouTube, their podcasts and their blogs because you will learn and be inspired, I promise you that. Now let's get on to Mummy. So with all that background, you can see that this is going to be something that's pretty, pretty impressive. Um, Mummy is actually a derivative of one of the films that they cut into cine stock. So it's a 400 speed black and white film and you can shoot it also in 16mm through their Cine 16 400 film. And of course the artwork has got better every year. There's a beautiful, I don't know if you can see this, a beautiful silvery reflective mummy coming out of the packaging. Um, and as I say this goes back into a heritage of shooting uh, Dracula, Wolfman and Frankenstein as well. So limited edition artworks, limited edition emulsion as well, um, and a really fun film to shoot with. Obviously I'm gonna say shoot this at Halloween. Get dressed up, take photos of costumes, try and take photos in the mostly dark of just sort of shadows and ghosts and flickering candlelight and all of this atmosphere. At 400 speed, it will be able to pick up reasonable detail in low light conditions, but it won't try and see through the dark. So embrace that, play with silhouettes, um, 
play with maybe double exposures and other sort of things that can give a spooky effect. So stretch your creativity. I would love to see lots of Halloween themed photos come back on this emulsion. Um, and for those of you who might have shot it on Cinefilm before, they might be able to give us a few hints and tips about how it looks. What I've seen from sample photos from Mike is that this is reasonably uh, balanced in terms of grain contrast, etc. Reasonably balanced in terms of latitude, so it won't be too blocky, it won't be too grey coming out of the camera. Um, and so it should be a really lovely palette to paint your creative Halloween imagery onto it. So there we go, very quick rundown of FPP's sort of vision and what they're after. Please do, do follow them along, um, they do a fantastic job. Um, and we're very lucky to work with them so closely and allow you to purchase their films directly through us here in the UK. That's it from me, thank you so much and I'll see you again next week.